Look, I think it's a very important role. Uh, we, we, we all know that we need to work together for a green and uh, resilient future. Uh, and uh, India and the European Union have, um, have an important part to play. Uh, we have both set very ambitious targets to become climate neutral. We are, all mass we are both massively investing in renewables. And I think in this framework, uh, green hydrogen is a, is a very promising um, is, is a very promising avenue to explore. Um, uh, India has launched um, an important um, green hydrogen mission. Uh, the European Union is also investing heavily uh, in research and development for green hydrogen. So I, I think that we, we really have the possibility to work together and to foster green hydrogen in our in view of the greening of our energy mix. Sir, like the European Union's uh, energy dependence is largely depend on R Russia. So, sir, will this uh, process of green hydrogen will end this and will make it in, 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 independent? Well, look, we, we had in any case to, to, to uh, invest in renewables and to make our energy mix greener. And that's why we, we, we started the Green Deal. But we, it's a major policy initiative changing the paradigm of our economic development. But clearly, now with uh, Russia's aggression against Ukraine, it has become apparent that we must wean ourselves off dependency on fossil fuels, on fossil fuels coming from Russia, being uh, be, be it oil or, or gas. So I'm, I'm pretty sure that indeed, yes, this will accelerate the transition towards a greener energy mix. It's already happening, and it will be fast.